Okay, got some more work done on the Green Hornet car. The stuff you're seeing on the door is just electrical tape. I gotta clean it all off here when I'm done. But I got it wired up here. I was gonna show you this. I put a green light in the back part of the Green Hornet because it's so dark and you can't really see him. But when the cars were on the track, if I light it up here, you can see the Green Hornet now. His gas gun, you can see Kato a little bit better in there too. So that looks pretty cool. There's another shot right here. You can see him. There's the headlights I went with, Tim. And these are green. Those are green just like the car in the movie, so now when you line up, they're pretty bright. The more you increase it, the brighter they get. So that's cool. I don't know if I showed you the tail lights again. I got it mounted with a clips that I found. Let me get this cord out of the way. There we go. And the green kind of illuminates the back window, which is kind of cool looking. There's the tail lights, and the car's leaving. You see, with illuminated green, it looks really cool. In the interior, you can kind of see it. There's that. And let's move over here again. There's a side view of Kato in the car. Does it light up? I think it looks pretty cool. So it should look pretty neat trying to get it all wired in. And that's it for the night. Cleaned up and mounting. And we gotta do some axles. My buddy Tim's gonna take a look at it. He's gonna spread the wheels out with the axles. And we'll probably end up changing the hubcaps from the original kit on there on the wheels. But we'll see how far that goes.